Lewis, tonight, I mean, I don't get to say this every day. I, 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 matter of fact, as an interview, I've done, I've done bits with this gentleman. Yeah. I've had fun with this gentleman. Yeah. But uh, this is the first time that I've had the opportunity, the honor, the privilege of saying, in this seat in just a moment, I'll be interviewing Mr. Harrison Ford. Right? Oh. Yeah. Have you seen that? That's amazing. Has That's anybody amazing. seen... Has anybody seen that show, that 1923 that he's in with Helen Mirren? Have you guys seen that? So it's out now. I'm not just special that I've seen it already. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. The man's 80 years old, tough as nails, still makes a fantastic cowboy. You know what? Him, Harrison Ford, yeah. looking as good as he does, makes me think that maybe Joe should run again. <laughs> wow. They're the same age. That's... Why Harrison, Harrison? Harrison's a cowboy. He rides horses and everything in this. Pretty great. Anyway, Han shot first. Folks, <laughs> I live in fear that machines are on the verge of rising up to destroy us. That's why when I'm not using my toaster, I put it in the shower to assert dominance. <laughs> Ask my microwave to keep an eye on it. I keep a close eye on all the robots and their bot stuff in my tech segment, Cyborgasm. I just found out. This is, this is one of the longest credits we have on the show. <laughs> and I always talk about maybe we should change these credits, make them shorter, change them in some way. And I just found out downstairs that there was a time when we were going to name the segment, which we've done for almost seven years now, where we talk about all things robot. We were going to call it Bot Plug. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? And for reasons that defy me, we did not do that. <laughs> First up, the machines have begun acquiring abilities that heretofore were only in the realm of living creatures because scientists have given a robot a sense of smell. This robot here, it can identify a handful of smells with 10,000 times more sensitivity than some specialized electronics. Good Lord. Robots have achieved mother-in-law entering your house technology. Mmm, <laughs> I see we're back on off-brand detergents. <laughs> My poor grandchildren. Oh, wait, I don't have any of those, do I? <laughs> Some of you sound like that's been said to you at a certain point. <laughs> Next up on the RoboGaz, the home security company Ring has unveiled a drone that flies around your house to show you what's going on in different rooms while you're out. Let's watch it now. Wow, that is such exciting technology. Because now, with the Ring drone, you can see every angle of your cat having a psychotic break. <laughs> Next up in our cyber future, we're all a little concerned about artificial intelligence, and a company called Hanson Robotics believes the key to winning over a skeptical public should be this family of robot sisters, because they say, if you have an AI that you can look in the eye and it smiles at you, that gives us a subjective feeling of connection. Well, I mean, I love to make connections. Let's see these lovely AI sisters. Ah! <laughs> Don't kill me, nightmare mannequin heads. I'll tell you the location of the sunglass hut. Why do they look like that? Why? Ben Gertzel, the engineer behind these warm, comforting, decapitated ladies, says he's trying to humanize the robots by giving them individual skills. One of them is a member of his experimental band, Jam Galaxy. Gertzel plays the keyboard while the robot improvises spoken word poetry. And before he asks, I'm sorry, I have plans that night. <laughs> Either way, AI is going to need all the good PR it can get since we're seeing more and more headlines like BuzzFeed will use AI to write its articles after firing 180 employees. Not going to work, BuzzFeed. No way an AI can tell me which kind of hot sauce I am. Oh, my God! I am the Cholula girl. In fact, according to experts, 90% of online content could be generated by AI by 2025, which means that human internet porn will soon be replaced with automated slut.
will soon be replaced with automated smut like this. Finally, a robotics company is working to build AI systems for chicken suppliers by creating 3D renderings of chicken parts. That's 3D renderings of chicken parts available for a limited time only at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> but after attempting to train their robots for food processing, the company has reported how surprisingly hard it is for a robot to pick up a chicken wing. <laughs> Aha! We found their weakness. Robots, you may be able to do our jobs, make our art and write our poetry and have sex with our least desirable men. But <laughs> there is one thing that makes us uniquely human, the indefinable spark that allows us to pound a plate of atomic wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robots, I'm about to blow your motherboards. Behold! I am a man! <laughs> and you machines will never be able to feel the kind of regret I will have tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be right back with Harrison Ford.